tarnish the political system here and so badly serve our citizens. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, who between them have wielded power in this state for the past 90 years, created, maintained and are completely mired in this corrupt political culture. In my view, it's a consequence of the counter-revolutionary period which followed the 1916 Rising. And this is the same political culture which ultimately resulted in the total collapse of the Irish economy seven years ago. The physical and social impacts of corrupt planning is evident to this day, especially in parts of Dublin. Working class communities were scattered to far flung and vast housing estates on the outskirts of this city and other cities which were bereft of adequate infrastructure or amenities. And it's to the great credit of these people living in these areas that they've come through what can only be described as an exercise in corrupt and mindless social engineering. Hanik na Fubal Shah, Slan Astri Ve, Ahaha, La Helia, Ogaseg Elav, Agyarta. With the help of some political activists and a few courageous journalists, they exposed the rotten heart of planning corruption in this state. But the legacy remains a dreadful scar in this city and county. The 19 Mahan Tribunal unveiled the reality of a decade of planning corruption. The extent and the scale of the corruption which was exposed was immense. The Mahan report was very clear. Endemic corruption was rife across the political spectrum. And Fine Gael and Labour cannot portray planning corruption as solely a Fianna Fáil problem. Indeed, Fine Gael councillors and TDs were central to the planning corruption in Dublin, and Mahan highlighted a very unhealthy relationship between Fine Gael ministers and individuals who were involved in property development. The Mahan Tribunal looked at matters relating to planning permission and land rezoning issues in the 90s in the Dublin County Council area. But no one seriously suggests that planning corruption was an issue confined to Dublin. In 2012, Mahan made 10 recommendations relating to planning. However, 18 years after the Mahan Tribunal commenced, three years after it made its final report, four years after Fine Gael and Labour assumed office, the government has still not implemented the recommendations of the Mahan report. Constantly pointing to Fianna Fáil in relation to planning corruption, as this government does, has no credibility when the government itself does nothing to root it out. Instead, former Fine Gael Minister for the Environment, Phil Hogan, infamously frustrated proper scrutiny of the planning process. In one of his first acts as a minister, Phil Hogan, since promoted by the Taoiseach to the prestigious position of EU Commissioner, Minister Hogan shut down an inquiry initiated by his predecessor, John Gormley. This was an inquiry into alleged planning irregularities in a number of, number of local authority areas, Dublin City, Cork City, Cork County, Carlow, Meath, Galway and Donegal. He's never given a satisfactory explanation for doing this, and there remain very serious and unanswered questions around this decision. He actually at one point said that the allegations were spurious. But how does he know they were spurious when they haven't been investigated? And this action, I think, highlights the arrogance of this government and its indifference to pursuing any genuine reform of the planning system. There's also a deep suspicion, I can't stand this up, that this decision was motivated by a desire not to rock the boat in relation to local government, because at that time, Fine Gael and the Labour Party controlled many councils across the state, including some which it was alleged these irregularities occurred in. But this action runs entirely contrary to the findings and the recommendations of Mahan. I listened to the Minister of the Environment addressing these issues last night and listened to some of the backbenchers earlier speaking in these matters. But does anyone believe that four years into the government, the fact that there has been no uh, implementation of the Mahan recommendations, that this is an action of a government that is serious about political reform. An internal review by the Department of the Environment, which was presented as an alternative to the Gormley review, claimed that there was no evidence of wrongdoing in planning. However, Gerard Combe, a senior planner in Donegal County Council, provided evidence of planning irregularities, and he went to the High Court. 
The court quashed the review section on Donegal. The department was forced to apologise to Mr Convey. The internal review was discredited and had to be set aside. Did the government go back to the Mahan recommendations? No. They set up another review into six local authorities, this time carried out by a group of consultants, and we're still waiting to see what, what, the, what will come out of all of that. Meanwhile, Jared Convey has presented substantial grounds for a full independent inquiry to establish whether there were any improprieties that would be subject to legal investigation. And Sinn Féin has previously called on the government to establish such an inquiry, and I want to repeat that call here this evening. Phil Hogan was also made aware of extremely serious allegations regarding planning irregularities in County Wicklow. And the present minister is also aware of these allegations, but nothing to date has been done to act on them. The allegations include one in which the value of a property earmarked for development was vastly increased in value through rezoning, and compulsory uh, purchase orders were used to facilitate the development. It's also claimed that well-known property developers, Sean Dunn and Sean Mulryan, two of the richest men in this state prior to the financial property and banking collapse, were to be the chief benefactories of this. And that's at a time when both these men were struggling with massive debts accumulated through their gambling, through Anglo and other financial institutions. There's also an allegation that on the 2nd of September 2014, a file relating to allegations of corruption and planning in Wicklow, which was handed into the offices of the Minister's predecessor by a former member of Wicklow County Council, was removed from the Minister's office. And the seriousness of this last allegation surely underlines the need for a full inquiry into all matters related to the alleged Wicklow irregularities. But central to the Mahan Tribunal recommendations was the establishment of an independent planning regulator. When the report was published in March 2012, the then Minister for State, John O'Sullivan, promised that the government would make such an appointment. Still hasn't happened. Three years later, Fine Gael and Labour are still sitting on their hands. The government has published an outline of proposals and planning which does not provide for the office of a, a regulator which is independent of the minister. So this government's proposed scheme falls far short of what is required and what was recommended in the Mahan Tribunal report. Why? The government's outline would make any such office subservient to the Minister for the Environment. And what we want to do, I would like to think, is to uncouple politicians from responsibilities for these matters. It completely contradicts the Mahan Tribunal's recommendations for a regular with powers separate from the Department of the Environment. So, if this government genuinely seeks to break with the corrupt political legacy of the past, it must move to reform the planning process. The amendment that the government is putting shows that it is no intention of doing this. The government's proposals as it stands is highly unlikely, I would imagine, to be presented as legislation before its term ends. What Sinn Féin is proposing is real reform of the planning process for responsible, ethical and sustainable planning underpinned by equality, which is the right of all who live in this state. And an independent planning regulator should operate in the same way as the office of the Ombudsman. A standalone bill to establish such an office could be published before the summer recess. So, Iriam Arahan Chakta Taku the Tariskint Sinn Fein Anacht. Gurum Agat. Agat, 